Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another reaction packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And tonight, actually it's this morning, it, well, it's for me, I don't know when you're watching this, this could be in the middle of the fucking night. Could be fucking Saturday afternoon, it could be Sunday morning, you could be sat on the shit house on a fucking Thursday afternoon, I don't know, <laughs> alright? So yes, we're having ooh, one of these. Brothers and sisters, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. Yep, we're having Asda's all made brand of Weetabix. As a rule, I'd never normally eat breakfast, and if I did, it was at weekend, and it'd be like full fry up. Now, as you're all well aware, I can't really do that anymore, really. I probably can as a treat, but I still need to take me, uh, right, I'll get around it, metformin, not metaforming, as, as I've been pointing out, metformin, and I have to take it with breakfast. So, I bought, as the smart price, 24 wheat bisques. Wheat and bisques. Oh, they, they look like they look like wheat and bisques, don't they? Eh? The only difference is wheat and bisques was about three pound thirty, and these were about eighty four pence. Big difference when it's only going to make a turd. <laughs> but the way I'm looking at it, it's uh, 0 0.6 grams of fat, uh, which is one percent. Uh, it is a saturated, it's, all, it's still is 0.1 grams, which is 1%. And the main one in here is sugars, which is 0.5 grams, and that is lower 1% as well. So hopefully, hopefully I am okay eating these. Obviously not, I'm going to be sprinkling a shit ton of sugar on top, am I? Otherwise I'll be defeating the object. So, uh, is there anything to read on these? Where the fuck's the... Yeah. Wait, Barley! Sorry. <laughs> Bit loud, it is only about 8 o'clock in the morning. Kids are asleep. Probably not now, but. Uh, yes, sir, it is. Uh, yeah, you got sugar, salt, malt extract, niacin, iron, theamin, riboflavin. What the fuck's that? R riboflavin. Didn't he used to play for Real Madrid in the 80s? <laughs> Uh, and folic acid, it's got B2 summit. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to read all these about it in there. We've got the sugar and the, the fat in there, haven't we? Uh, a little bit of saturated fat, high in fibre. Uh, I'd say let's get down and have a shuffle to have it. But to be quite honest with you, it is just going to look like a bowl of fucking wheat bix isn't it? Ball. One. Two. Three. Do we leave it at three? I don't know for four. Nah, we'll leave it at three. And this is where I'm probably going to fall down. It's where the milk I'm putting in. Now, I'm not using full fat. I'm not using semi-skimmed. Uh, I'm not using skimmed, I mean, because skimmed... It's, you know, if I start drinking skimmed milk, I might as well just pour water on the fucking things, Anna. I? Uh, I've got semi-skimmed. Uh, there's uh, no salt in it. It's the carbohydrate in it, uh, which is sugars. It's 4.8 grams. So it's, it's not really great for me, is it? But, you can have fucking, you can have milk on wheat bix aren't you? Oh, sorry, on, on wheat bisques. <clears throat> now, obviously, if I had, obviously, if I add sugar to this, it's going to be, uh, it, it may, you know, mate, if I'm giving this to kids, I, I would put a sprinkle of sugar on it. Otherwise, this is going to be like eating a fucking dry, uh, a dry cow pat as soon as that fucking soaks up that milk. Because personally, I would have put more milk on it. But personally, I can't because right now I can't. But I do need to have some breakfast because, uh, you know, I'm going to take my tablet and all. Right. I'm going to get up here and eat it in front of the camera. It's a bit boring down here. You can't get you, you know what I mean? Fuck it. Let's get, let's get up here. You can just about see that in there, can't you, before it all milk pours out of the edge and onto the floor. Hey, 44 year old, I don't know, I've done so, I've done well so far eating 
Not really, I've not really looked after myself when it comes to uh, my diet and stuff like that with the beer, the fags, uh, the, the, the takeaways that I used to eat a lot of, which now would uh, nigh on probably never had. I had one on, I think one last week. Can't remember what day it was. I think it was Wednesday last week. I had a cheat, I had a, I had a gyro, gyro, gyro. Anyway, without further ado, Yeah, you get the you get the you get the gist, don't you? Now I can't remember last time I had a proper wheat bix, but I can imagine last time I, I do remember them tasting like that. So if you want to eat healthily, because you know what I mean, the skim milk. I probably want to skim milk one of them. Uh, if you want to save money as well, you know what I mean? But buy the wheat bisques, 84p or whatever it was. They're under a quid anyway. From the Asda. And uh, as opposed to wheat bisques, it's like fucking treble. Could be quadruple the price. I'll finish it off after. Right, what do I think of that? Well, at the end of the day, right, I could have bought Weetabix and it would taste exactly the same as that, probably. The last time I had Weetabix, I remember it tasting like that. So, you see, if you've got to do it, do it. If you don't have to, fucking don't. Anyway, I'm fucking off. If you like this, press like, comment. Sharing all your social media and subscribe and become a family member of hashtag Team CTB where I fucking love you. <laughs> oh, fuck me, this is shit.